SDN is changing the way data center networks are designed by enabling innovation and differentiation in networking. In this video, we will take a look at different aspects of data center SDN. A quick look at the internet activities reveals huge amount of content that is being delivered through the internet from the data centers across the world. Thus, the data centers need to support zettabytes of data storage and super fast access in order to provide a good user experience. Also, with the variety of applications, storing and accessing data from these data centers creates a big variation in the type of traffic that the data centers have to deal with, like the search engine traffic, the email traffic, social networking, or online streaming, etc. The exponential growth in demand for internet in the last decade has made downtime a very significant factor. Each minute of downtime costs major revenue and the time taken to recover is critical parameter. As per the data shown in the slide, the average cost of an hour of downtime for a large enterprise is in the range of 600,000 US dollars. Downtime could be a turning point for the data centers to lose customers and market share. The data center is only as robust as its network infrastructure. The market demands that we have seen in the previous slide have translated into new requirements on the switching fabric. A next generation data center demands scale in order to meet the growth and migration to the cloud. At the same time, the design of the data center fabric should be flexible enough for on-demand scale up and scale down in order to reduce need for over-provisioning and thereby keeping the total cost of ownership low. The need for next generation data center fabrics also include centralized orchestration in order to control the huge number of devices from different vendors to work in tandem. A central control unit should be able to configure and control the network which is a hybrid of both hardware and virtualized nodes in the modern world. High resiliency and robustness is the third important characteristics of the network that is required for reducing downtime. SDN solves this problem by introducing centralized control, programmability, and flexibility into the network operation. In addition to these, multi-tenancy and network segmentation are also important applications in the data center network. It is not a single technology, but rather an interplay of multiple technologies that enables SDN in data center network. The most popular technology choices include OpenFlow for centralized control and white box forwarding, VXLAN and EVPN for network overlay, and OVSDB for integration of virtual and physical infrastructure. Let us discuss a few important use cases for data center network and the corresponding enabling technologies in the next few slides. Rapid increase of server virtualization in data centers over the past decade has resulted in the requirement for dramatic increase in network agility. This, in turn, has created a demand for data center networks that are equally flexible and agile. The solution is network virtualization. Decoupling the logical network from the physical network makes it easier to manage, automate, and orchestrate by enabling fast programmatic provisioning of the network for any application. For connectivity of workloads residing across layer 3 leaf spine fabric, layer 2 domains need to be extended across the layer 3 boundaries. 
also to cater to the huge proliferation of cloud-based applications the data centers need to move the applications closer to the service users or to where the power is cheaper more popularly known as follow the sun and follow the moon strategy on the other hand data centers need to support large number of users data and applications over a multi-tenancy environment to provide infrastructure as a service to the enterprises. A multi-tenant data center houses multiple logical communication networks in a single facility. Logical network segmentation over a single physical fabric is important to isolate each tenant's activity. These needs for flexibility, agility, and isolation can be achieved by network overlay. VXLAN is one of the most popular and effective overlay encapsulation protocols capable of relaying layer 2 traffic over IP networks, enabling creation of virtualized layer 2 subnets or segments that span across physical layer 3 networks. Existing VLAN-based segmentation has its limits in terms of smaller address space and also restricting VM mobility. VXLAN solves this limitation by enabling 16 million logical L2 networks across different L3 networks. The VXLAN-based network design logically isolates tenants and applications in a cloud environment. While VXLAN's based overlays can become a promising piece in network design, it is important to understand the risks on migration. Validation at every step along the migration path can not only facilitate adoption by removing blind spots of network design, but also minimize the risk of deployment failure. In this next section, we will understand the validation needs to ensure end-to-end -end functionality of the use case. Functionality and scale of the VTAP devices can become a bottleneck in supporting applications over the data center network. During the vendor selection process, it is extremely important for the network engineers to validate the scale of the VTAP devices. The devices should be able to support large number of logical networks along with several host protocols running over the VXLAN tunnels like DHCP, IGMP, MLD, etc. The discovery and reachability of VMs in both multicast and unicast provisions is another important aspect of validation. While testing the overlay network, the network engineer must ensure proper connectivity and isolation by running realistic application workload over the VXLAN tunnels. Please watch our product demo videos to learn more about IX Network VXLAN validation solution.